Well, tonight, Six Investigates follows up on a decision by city leaders several years back to stop adding fluoride to the municipal water supply. Well, that was back in 2012 when equipment that adds that chemical to the water stopped working and there simply wasn't money available then to replace it. Well, that situation continued until late 2015 when the city started adding fluoride into the water manually. And tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Rick Spruill checks back to see how that's working. The first thing to know is that when the city talks about fluoridating the water supply, they're talking about adding a chemical to it. The technical term is hydrofluorosilicic acid. Say that again. Hydrofluorosilicic acid. We'll just call it HFSA for short, but because HFSA is a chemical, it's controversial. Some groups like the American Dental Association say adding HFSA into the water helps stop tooth decay. Meanwhile, other groups like the Fluoride Action Network say it's a dangerous and outdated practice, which is why when in 2015 we discovered the city had quietly stopped adding it into our water, we asked about it. And here's what the city's water quality manager told us. Back in 2012, we had our um, chemical feed for the fluoride ended up going down. Now again, that interview was in 2015. Now Ramirez is the assistant director of water quality and treatment, and he tells us the city resumed fluoridating our water sometime after that report. We asked Ramirez about the controversy surrounding fluoridation, and here's what he says. Any chemical in the wrong concentration may not be great. So you have to make sure that the concentration's in the right amount. And apparently, the CDC approves of the job they're doing. Take a look at this. It's a water fluoridation quality award given late last year for the city's 2016 fluoridation program. Any award that we can get is great. Um, and the Centers for Disease Control, that's a prestigious award to get awarded this for fluoridation of the drinking water. Ramirez says they won't know whether their 2017 fluoridation program won that award until later this year. And there's one important note. While the city council must approve buying the fluoridation chemicals now being added to our water, Ramirez says there's no mandate, no law, that requires the city to add it. Rick Spruill, Six Investigates.